welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys this super fun makeup look that I've been loving recently. I think it's great for this transition period into fall because it is a little bit deeper, but it still has some fun orangey red tones for summer. Almost this entire look is also from drugstore products or products that you can get on the drugstore side of Ulta. So that is always nice and affordable. I will tell you up front that this look is created using the Morphe 25A palette. You can get this at Ulta. I'm pretty sure it's only $18, which is freaking mind blowing for 25 eyeshadows and for the quality of the shadows themselves. So if you don't have that Morphe palette, I would run out and go get it because, I mean, there's so many great colors in there and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. But um, yeah, you will need that to um, recreate this look. But if you don't have it, um, I'm sure you can find other very similar colors in your collections already. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Okay, so to start off this tutorial, I will just quickly run you guys through what I did to do my face because I already have my foundation and bronzer concealer and obviously like my eyebrows done. So um, I used, I'm trying to finish up this little sample of Urban Decay Primer Potion, so I have that on. And then I used the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. And I, for reference, am in the shade 01 Creamy Vanilla. Um, I absolutely love this. It's probably the best drugstore foundation I think I've ever used. It's so thick and like full coverage, but it doesn't feel too heavy on your skin. It's just really, really nice. And even though it's like a two-in-one, I don't believe in that. So then I used my concealer, um, my Revolution Conceal and Define. I am in the shade C6, which I thought was gonna be really dark, but it's actually really light. So make sure you use the tester when you're at Ulta and you're getting this concealer. It's also $6 and it's comparable to Tarte Shape Tape. So, no, said. Then after I blended all that out with my beauty blender, I used the NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder. It's just a translucent powder. I really, really like this. I use it, um, underneath my eyes and on my T-zone, and then I set the rest of my face with a powder. Right now I've just been using Bare Minerals Foundation because it's light and it doesn't feel heavy, and I just use like the tiniest, tiniest bit, um, so it's not like I'm layering like two foundations on top of one another. But um, the only thing about this finishing powder that I will say to be careful of is if, you're, if you know you're gonna be around a flash, like if you're going to a concert or something and you're gonna take pictures and it's gonna be dark, I wouldn't use that um, finishing powder. This one causes flashback, and if you don't know what that means, it basically means that when the flash hits your face, it likes to reflect on wherever that powder is, and so you get like ghosty white under eyes, and it's not cute. It looks really good in natural light and like in any other type of lighting, just when the flash hits it, it's not good. So I'm on the hunt to find another one. If you have another good recommendation for a translucent setting powder, let me know in the comments down below because I, like I said, I'm on the hunt. Um, and then I just warmed my face up a little bit with the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Deep Tan. I honestly don't know how I haven't hit pan on this. I use it literally every day. Um, and then what else did I do? Oh, I did my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I used the same pencil I've been using for literally years. Um, it's the NYX if you can't tell, I really like NYX. It's great quality makeup and it's so freaking cheap, you guys. Um, and you can get it at like so many places now, whereas used to, you only used to get it at Ulta. Now you can get it at Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, everywhere. But I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I've used Anastasia Brow Wiz before, which is a very similar product to this. And honestly, I don't really see a difference. I'm color taupe in this too. Then I set my face. Now, let's get in to the eyeballs because that's like the best part of this whole look. Am I right? Right. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 25A palette. I freaking love this palette. It's so great. It's $18 and you get all these gorgeous shades. So, um, to start, I've already primed my eyes with MAC uh, Painterly Paint Pot, so make sure you do something like that. And then I'm gonna take this nice little fluffy brush I'm gonna take the color Layered, which is this nice like kind of orangey uh, skin tone type color, and I'm just gonna put this in the transition area of my eyelid. So kind of like the crease and a little bit above. Um, and that's just gonna kind of lay down a base for us to have something to blend with when we put that crease color down. I'm trying to sound as much like a beauty guru as possible, 
I don't really know all the technical terms, but like I just know how to do it. So just follow along. Okay, so we have that color down. Now what I'm going to do is go in, I do things a little backwards. I find that beauty gurus always do like their crease color and then they lay down their lid color and then, I don't know. I don't know how you do that. I have to do my lid color first. So I'm just gonna go in with a flat shader brush, take the color Ember, which is this really beautiful, like rusty, metallic color. And if you have green eyes or hazel eyes, girl, it's gonna make your eyes pop so well. You can also use, um, like you can wet your brush with some like Fix Plus or some setting spray or something if you want to too, but these colors honestly have good enough payoff without it that it's like insane. Sometimes if I really, really want it to pop, I'll do it, um, I'll use it wet, but like, do you see how freaking pretty this is? And I'm just putting that right on the lid, trying not to go too high up in the crease or anything. It's so pretty. I look like a psycho right now because I have like red on my eyeballs, but this way it gets better. Okay, so now it's kind of hard to explain like what I'm about to do because I kind of just mix it up. So I have this brush that's more of like a domed like pencil type brush, a dense crease brush, and then this is the one I just used a second ago. It's more of a fluffier crease brush. But I'm gonna be going back and forth with the color Radar and the color Afterlife. I love Afterlife because it kind of brings in that like rusty red, but it's a really nice matte, so it doesn't, you know, obviously add to the shimmer from your lid, but I'm just gonna start creasing it up. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that one called Radar. Can you hear my dog like literally whining in the background? It's because the mailman is here and she wants to go outside and play. Say hello to the people. Say hi people. Oh. Okay, so I just put that radar color in my crease with that pencil brush. Now I'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush and kind of just blend it out just a little bit just so it's not patchy or anything and get it kind of blend up into that transition color. Alright, so here's what we got going on so far. I'm going to go back in with that pencil brush, get that color Afterlife, which is that really pretty like rusty matte color. Just a little bit, pop that in the crease. Say hello. Say hello. No, come here. No. She's being shy. This is the first. Okay, now that that's all done and kind of blended out, um, I'm gonna go in with this like small little, I don't really know what you would even use this for. I guess some people would use it for concealer. I don't use a brush for concealer. I think that's weird. But I'm gonna get that metallic color that we used first on the lid and just pop that right underneath. to blend it out too far down on the bottom uh, like really smoke it out uh, but if you want to do that do that just a little more dramatic and I'm not like super going for like extra drama right now I just really like this for kind of like a day look which I mean this is kind of dark for a day look but I mean living on the edge right yeah um, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that radar color which is that brown that we put in the crease um, just a little bit to connect the outer part and like blend that in, inward I guess I should say. Okay, so that is it mostly for the eyeshadow. Oh, just kidding. So I'm just gonna go in with this flat shader brush and take the color Overcast, which is just a nice matte, like light skin tone kind of color. I think I just said skin tone really weird, but you guys loved me enough to forgive me for that, right? And I just go right underneath my 
eyebrow. Just kind of make sure all of that is like cleaned up and nice. And then I go back in with that fluffy brush one more time and just kind of like blend the top of this like to fill. I hate that I just said that, oh my gosh. Okay, and one last final thing that I'm gonna do for the eyeshadow is just to kind of freshen up that lid color again, so maybe that's why beauty gurus like do this last, but I just really can't. I really cannot do that. Now that's it for eyeshadow. Um, okay, so for the next step of this, I'm going to do my eyeliner. I use the Revlon liquid eye pen um, in black. Black is black, I guess, technically. I've used this legitimately since my sophomore year of high school. That's like going on seven years. Um, if they ever discontinue this, I will start a riot. Somebody join me. So while I'm doing my eyeliner, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyelashes as well. So I'll just run you through that little process really fast. So what I do is I curl my eyelashes. This is a Revlon eyelash curler. Um, and then I go ahead and put on my Ardell Demi Wispies. I love these eyelashes. I wear them like every single day. I think I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how I do my false eyelashes because I have people ask me all the time. Um, I thought lots of people wore false eyelashes. I guess not. It's kind of a like new thing to me too, but I found a really foolproof way um, to put them on and I wasn't very good at the beginning. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing something like that because I would love to share that with you guys. Um, but these are what they look like. They're just a really good like everyday false lash. They are dramatic, but they're not too dramatic to where it's like, girl, hold up. They're just really good everyday eyelashes. And if you're, it's too much for you, you can always cut them in half and use them on the outer half. So that's what I used to do. Um, but now we go all in. So I put those on and then I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I think this is very comparable to Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I love this, it's like $10 at the drugstore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and my eyelashes and then I will be right back. All right, babes, so coming back to you now, um, we're going to do our contour and then I will do lips and highlight. I said that backwards. We're going to contour and highlight and then we'll do our lips. So, um, usually I do contour before this step but I just wanted to be able to like kind of show you guys what I do. Um, so I use this brush from e.l.f., it's just their contour brush, it's like flat, really dense brush. And then I use the Revolution Contour Palette. I don't know which one this is. The Ultra Contour Palette it has like eight colors in it. Um, and I use, I used to use this one, but it's a little too cool toned for me right now. And then for this look, I also want the one that's a little bit more warm. So I've been using this one right here. And then I just go right under my cheekbone. And like, I'm not afraid of a contour, so if you um, don't want too intense of a contour, I would not recommend using this brush. It holds a lot of powder. Um, and applies it pretty thickly. Um, you can always use like a lighter brush, like something like this. Um, which is actually probably what I'm gonna use to blend this out. It does not look this harsh in real life, let me tell you. Like, this is just lighting. Um, I am gonna blend it out just a little bit, but it's still gonna look pretty harsh on camera. But I promise, if you see me tonight, it's not gonna look like that. Okay, and then I take that same contour color on this brush that came with my Anju brush kit, it's like the same brush, but it's shorter. So it's dense, it's really narrow, it's got straight edges. I hit myself in the eyeball with it. Um, just gonna take the edge of that and do a little bit of a nose contour just to get some dimension back there. Okay, so there's the nose contour. I'm actually gonna go in with like the middle of this brush now and just kind of blend it out a little bit. I don't want anything too crazy. I was just trying to get some color back to my nose because it was looking pretty flat. Excuse you? Oh, oh goodness. Highlight. Now what I like to do, I do this a couple different ways. So the highlight that I'm going to be using is the Revolution um, Strobe Highlighter in Gold Addict. 
Y'all, this thing is gorgeous. Look how pretty that is, oh my goodness. So I do this like a few different ways. First of all, I use the Morphe M5 510, the M510 brush. It's a really good highlighting brush. Um, sometimes I spray the brush with my setting spray. Sometimes I just spray my face and while my face is still wet, I apply it. I think that's what I'm gonna do today. So I use the NYX Dewy Finish um, setting spray. I'm like, I don't know really how I feel about this. I've been, I've used it a couple times. Like I bought a second bottle of this. And I like it enough, I wouldn't say that it gives you a dewy finish, um, but it does help my makeup hold pretty well. So I do like this for the price, but I am still looking for a better one. But for now, we're gonna use this. Okay, and then while my face is still wet, the brush into the highlight. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit on like a dense little dome brush and pop that like right in the corner of my eye. I really like the gold with this rusty color. It's just really pretty, metallic, and it's warm. Um, so it kind of just really opens up the eye a little bit more. I just kind of use whatever's left and go down the bridge of the nose because I don't want anything too crazy. But, y'all. That's it, that's the look. All right, so for lips, if you guys follow me on Instagram or on like to know it and you look at the things that I tag, I always tag this lipstick because I'm always wearing it. It's probably my most worn lip product in my entire life um, because I love the color. I love the color on me. I love the color on everybody else. I have my friend Anna to thank for this because I used it one night when we were going out and I went and bought it the next day. It's amazing. It's the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the color adorable it's like such an amazing color and it looks kind of dark on camera and on me it pulls a little more nude but when like on my sister it pulls a little more mauve so it honestly just depends on your skin tone and the color of your lips what it's gonna look like on you but it literally I'm not even lying guys it looks good on everyone all right y'all and that is the completed look lips eyes face everything if you're wondering why my hair is different my tops different my earrings are different it's because I forgot to film an outro for this tutorial the other day, so had the same makeup on today, thought might as well film a quick little outro, not leave you guys hanging. If you really like this tutorial, try it out, post it on Instagram or on Facebook and hashtag love and Marie so I can see it. If you guys want to see more tutorials on makeup, hair, whatever else, drop them in a comment below, let me know what you guys want to see. I would love to film more things for you guys, I think videos are such a fun way to kind of connect. Um, with you guys because you get to see a little bit of my personality not necessarily just me like standing pose in a photo even though I love taking pictures I love doing video even more if you want to see even more personal stuff make sure that you follow me on Instagram and watch my stories because stuff gets crazy over there sometimes but thank you guys so so much for watching if you want to see more of me make sure to go subscribe to the blog loveandmarie.com you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and probably other social media platforms that I forgot that I signed up for that I don't use anymore. Whatever. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye.